Up next, we have, of course, Jen and Fawn going Palu versus Duck Hunt. Pretty sure it's a, a much more comfortable MU for uh, for um, Fawn rather than going any other of their, like, 10,000 characters they use. Yeah, just going for the, the comfort pick, I think. Yep. And then someone like Jen, very very established Palu, one of the best Palu, in my opinion, I've ever seen. And just... Jen just... Beautiful movement, really good on reading what their opponent about to do, but what we know about Fawn's Duck Hunt is Duck Hunt kind of insane with the Retractor Thals and knowing where to throw those cans and where to, and where to toss you into those cans. So, let's see how both of these established players play today. Yeah, no, and I mean, something else to point out is uh, both of these players on the uh, New York Long Island PR that just came out. Yes, it came out! Fawn was Ooh, number 11. 11. Jen, I think, uh, somewhere in top five. Th th yeah, third? Third, third. I knew it was somewhere in top five. But yeah, very, very good stuff. So we're going to be seeing some real high-level stuff coming out in this set. I love that for us. What a setup. Just barely wasn't able to get the can conversion right now, but Fawn able to reset the situation. Neutral air going to be putting Jen back off stage. Jen not ready for the can. Absolutely not. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Fawn very, very efficient with the can, with the use of can. One of the most complicated things about Duck, in my opinion, is doing when to use a can, when to position your gunslingers as well. So. Jen doesn't have too much too much of a hill to climb right now. Fawn is at a pretty successful kill range for uh, for Palu in any way. Getting a really good conversion right here with the fair and kicking the can away just as a precaution. Going over to do anything special? Yep, yeah, we're going down till nothing off of it. However, Ooh, okay, great recognition by Fawn. Didn't panic, air dodge, expecting attack, mm -hmm. and that means Fawn's going to be taking center stage, setting up another ledge trapping situation potentially. We're going back with Ooh. the cans once more. And I feel like Battlefield in this, you know, in this matchup, kind of a double-edged sword for both characters. They get so much off of triplats. I mean, but I mean, I especially agree. Jen. The way that Jen's playing right now, Jen is getting so much, like, so many escape routes out of Fawn's, uh, out of Fawn's trap setups. Ooh, dash attack not taking it. Lily kissing the blast zone, and now we're making out the blast zone. <laughs> there goes Fawn's first duck. And Jen, 75%, nothing too much to, like, you know, worry about. But like you were saying, I completely agree with what you were saying earlier about the, the use of Bla uh, uh, Battlefield. Battlefield, <laughs> uh, the tri platforms do give Jen a lot of space to kind of escape a, uh, a lot of the setups that Fawn is going for. But however, the more surf uh, first surface area that Fawn gets, the more can setups that they can do. Oh my goodness. And, and a another part of the double-edged sword is uh, wow, wow. Battlefield platforms just give so many opportunities for extensions, especially for Palutena. I mean, Duck Hunt 2, you know, we've seen Fawn get some crazy, like, up-air strings and conversions. Oh, Back I think throw, you might yeah. be dead. Yeah, especially with Rage. So that is going to be Jen taking the lead right now after Fawn was in the lead for a pretty good amount of time. Oh, can putting Fawn in a bad situation. Now we're seeing a little bit of a uh, kind of panic situation. Fawn's now in the in, in, in a humongous deficit. And once Palu's in a really good advantage state where she kind of has her own uh, game plan going, she has control center stage and she has control of the air with her up air and how big that hitbox is. Oh my this is goodness. so scary. Fawn's at 120%. A very Oof. clutch reversal can gonna be getting Fawn that second stock, but at what cost? Now you're at these red oh percentages, and a down tilt into up air will be taking game one for Jen. Yeah, mixing up the down tilt with, uh, instead of going for, you know, typical bear or fair, we're going up with the up air instead. Something that Fawn likely wasn't expecting, because Fawn does typically like to cover a little bit more safely with um, with Duck Hunt by going into the air. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're goodbye. Yeah, really, really good on that on that recognition, knowing that Fawn was going to go, well, after the down tilt, go up, straight up into the air. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see what our counter pick for Fawn was. Let's I think it's a C. Three, oh, we're going, oh, no, small, small battlefield. Field. So we're going to be eliminating that top platform, which helps Palu more than anything. One, escape option. Two, exciting those up airs that she's so good at keeping her opponents in and center locked. So yeah, no, see what I, we're going to be doing with uh, Fawn choosing this really good talent pick for themselves. I absolutely agree with this pick coming out from Fawn because, like, the PS2 platform layout just does so much for Fawn's, like, ledge trapping. Just kind of the way like, that, like, you're on ledge, and now Fawn gets to set up, like, a Mario Maker obstacle <laughs> course for you to get through. And the top platform being gone, the top platform is the dev path in the uh, uh -huh. Mario Maker. I don't know what... 
that might have been a miss input from Fall. No, I I think that they didn't have their jump. I wasn't I wasn't paying. Oh wait, wow! I love the little mini replay we have over here. Because Fawn Fawn was off stage recovering with. Uh, oh, I the think it might have been. Yeah. I think the that side yeah. B might have been Fawn trying to mash neutral B while holding towards the stage to try and get the can to come up and cover them. But super unfortunate for Fawn, meaning. Jen is in a really good position right now. Shout out to production for the little replay. Right? Love it. It's so good. Beautiful. All right, great no tech there by Fawn. Lame, unfortunately. A great recognition there by Fawn to get that grab. Try and set up another situation, but even without a top platform, Jen is taking the high road all the way back into center stage. <gasps> Trying okay, to good. faint going to the other side, but you're getting ledge trapped all the same. I always liked how Jen really uh, takes, a time, takes his time recovering back from uh, just jumping off the stage and taking his time using his double jump to come back to really gauge where his opponent is while they're trying to recover to see where the best option either fair bear, up air, or just coming back to stage safely. And there we go. Ooh. There's that up air we've been looking for. Yep, the very last hit of the up air just barely caught Jen before he was able to uh, before he was able to warp out of there. All right, I like the use of the auto radical, trying to waste Fawn's time so they're not able to set up that obstacle course. <laughs> Tash attack just deleting the clay pigeon. Nice. That exchange, yeah, was definitely going to probably take with the back air. And it's kind of a, a funny sort of dichotomy between these two characters when it's like, it when, when Fawn's been at the ledge, you know, or when Jen's been at the ledge, Fawn has all this time to set up like Can, the the goons, the the clay pigeons. Jen gets Fawn at the ledge and just gets to press back air over and over again. That's that's the only obstacle needed in the obstacle course. Okay, great. Yeah. Roll well, just a little bit, a little bit of uh, back and forth going on over there. Oh, this should be it. Yep, nice, nice. conversion. That clay pigeon just gives you so much time to to hit confirm. Oh no! Oh, just like that? Just we just going straight in with that? All right. Oh no. Me too. I felt that. That was a really good. Those are those are some really good. Uh, like the whole set actually was really good. Mm -hmm. Like hello. Look how far away Fawn was. We. Down throw. Oh my god. Wait, excuse me? Right? <laughs> that did not look right. Yeah, like, look at. The first hit Hello? is like. Hello? Please look how far that is. Look it just far. caught his no. It just caught. It just the caught nosy wosy! <laughs> <laughs> it caught Duck Hunt's nosy wosy! It's like when the no. dog's like getting into something they shouldn't be and you just He's hit like, him on the nose with like a newspaper. And they just hate Bam. that. It's like, eh, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, that, Duck that Hunt just hurt. got shooted right in the nose. <laughs> Why is 